Okay, you guys, I'm currently driving right now and the lighting is horrible, but I'm on my way to get a freaking tattoo for the first time ever. I'm actually not sure if I'm gonna end up getting it today. I'm just doing like a little consult thing, but hopefully it happens because I just drove an hour because my friend and I are gonna go. And I'm like low key, actually no high key, very nervous, but like also very excited. And um, I can't talk a lot right now because I'm actually driving and I don't know where I'm going. So I'm like also trying to look at my map. So this is just like not the safest thing that I'm doing. But um, I'm gonna show you guys the process and then obviously I'm gonna show you guys a tattoo, but stay tuned, I'm so excited. Okay, so. <laughs> To pick up where we left off on the whole tattoo situation, I originally was going to go on Friday. No, I was originally gonna go on Thursday to get my tattoo. My friend and I were gonna go together and I had never had a tattoo before so I just went with him and wherever he was gonna go and literally when we walked into this place, <laughs> I this sounds so mean. It smelled like beef and cheese. Like it smelled so bad and I was like there is absolutely no way I can sit through a tattoo with that smell. Like I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. So I and then on top of that I was already so nervous cuz it was my first tattoo ever. So I was like, "Oh my god, I think I should just leave." And um like I said, first tattoo, didn't even know the guy that was going to that was going to do the tattoo. I've never seen his work. So I'm like, "Okay, I need to be really smart about this decision because this is gonna be on my body forever and I need it to look good. So I ended up backing out. I was like, look, you need to go in there and say that I can't do this. And luckily he did, so that was clutch. Um, but I did end up getting it the next day. No, I got it Saturday. I got it Saturday, so two days later. And I got it literally right outside my neighborhood at this tattoo parlor that my friend had been before. So I knew that they did good work and I also looked at their Instagram. So I called them, scheduled an appointment. Luckily, they were able to get me in that day. And here we are. Look at her, she's so cute. It says, I am enough. And honestly, you guys, like, I was so nervous. I went all by myself. For one, you couldn't even have guests, but if like you had a friend that was also getting a tattoo, I don't think it would have been that big of a deal, but yeah, you can't have guests. So I went all by myself for my very first tattoo ever, and I'm like sitting here thinking this is gonna be the absolute worst. I mean, I've had my lips done before, and that was freaking painful. So I was like, okay, if I can have my lips done, I'm sure I can handle a tattoo. Like, come on, you got this. It's not even a big tattoo, as you guys saw. So like, it wasn't like it was gonna take a ton of time to do anyway. But the girl ended up bringing me back. She put the stencil on, made sure I liked the placement of it and the font and all that. And of course I did. And then we got rolling and you guys, she started right, so, so she started from the end and then worked her way to the beginning of it. And I know it looks kind of weird. There's like ink chipping off. I'm not how to... I'm not sure how to like explain that because I've never had a tattoo. But um, she started with like the little uh, curly Q of the H. You guys, it didn't hurt at all. I was like tense. I was like, like, are you going yet? And she was going and she was like, yeah, I'm done with like that part. And I was like, are you kidding? I'm When I tell you I have had facials that are more painful, I mean it. Also, like if you've gotten your nails done before and they like, like nick the side of your skin or like polish to um, or file too low and it like hits your nerve, like that was more painful than this tattoo. It didn't even get to like a level three on the pain scale and I promise you that. So if you guys are nervous about getting tattoos and really want one, do not be nervous. I mean, I'm sure obviously like the location matters. Um, you know, there are more painful places of course, but it was not bad at all. I'm so glad that I did it. I was like kind of panicked because I was like, I mean, this is permanent. Like this is gonna be on your arm when you're 70 years old. So, um, but I'm really glad I did it. I think it looks so cute. Also, um, it's just a like, cute little reminder for me to be able to look at every day. So, I'm hype about it. I hope you guys think it's cute too, but if not, that's fine, because I'm a fan of it. But I'm just gonna have myself a little Sunday today. I um, need to kind of just like do my laundry, get my stuff together for the week, like lunches and all that. So, come along with me and Let's get after it. So something I also want to talk to you guys about really quick. I posted it on my Instagram story the other day. Um, so if you guys don't follow me over there, I'll leave my handle down below. But if you guys 
no orbe i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it right but if you guys have ever used orbe or had a salon use their products in your hair you know that this stuff is next level it smells so good and i'm so obsessed with the smell that i ended up buying their perfume and their perfume is pretty pricey so um it's kind of like annoying because I'm not the type of girl that likes to spend a lot of money on perfume. And also, after I bought it, I realized that this, the smell did not last as long as the hair products did. So, like, the hair products literally lingered for, like, four days. I'm not even kidding you. So, I ended up, instead of purchasing the perfume again, because I already used that all, I got the hair and body oil. And this is $75. The perfume, I want to say, is, like, $105. And it's kind of weird because... This has more product in it than the perfume, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I ended up buying this instead because I feel like the smell lingers a little bit longer than the perfume does. So it was a lot more worth it to me to pay that much. But I will say that one of my friends ended up letting me know that it is on overstock for $45. And I would return it, but I feel like right now returns are kind of like iffy. So I'm just going to keep it. I mean, I've already used it, so it's not a big deal. But I will link it down below from overstock. So if you guys are interested, you can get a way better deal on it than I did. All right, you guys. It is now 3.08. And I just made myself the most fire meal ever. I'm gonna show it to you. We have an egg, a black bean burger, and an English muffin. It is so good, it's so random, but just like, holy. It looks so delish. And it is, so I'm about to have this little meal. I'm out of breath, because I just ran upstairs to get my camera to show you guys. Um, but I'm just sitting outside in the sun, because it's so nice here, and the UV index is 10 and i need a suntan so badly this is not working um but i'm gonna eat this and then probably lay out a little longer and then go from there okay so i just got back in from laying out and i'm about to fold some laundry but first i'm gonna put on some music and i kind of want to share like a little tip with you guys just in case anybody wants it because i found that this helps me a lot but Typically, I know that during the week, you can get really overwhelmed with, you know, having like all of your chores or responsibilities in line. And so something I found that really helps me is by starting every single Sunday off on a really good note. So having my laundry done, making sure that my lunches are prepared for the week so I don't have to worry about it in the morning whenever I'm already kind of crunched for time because I like to sleep in longer. Um, it just helps me have a week that feels a little bit more secure and I'm not stressed out about it. I don't have to worry about things last minute because I took the time on Sunday to prepare. And then another thing that I really like doing, my hair looks crazy right now. Um, another thing I really like doing is having my room look really, really good and clean and just put together on Sunday because obviously throughout the week, your room gets messy. Your kitchen gets messy. It's just inevitable like <laughs> life is a messy thing and nothing is gonna stay clean 24 7 so I allow myself to let my room get a little out of hand if that is what happens I don't stress out about it but at the end of every single day I do make sure I pick up a little bit only because for me personally I function a lot better whenever my room is clean I feel like whenever my room is like really dirty I just feel really stressed out about everything and then it just kind of like puts my whole life out of whack but Making sure that my room is pretty much spotless on Sundays helps me so much going into the new week on a really good note. It just feels super fresh and I don't feel stressed out. And then honestly, whenever my room is starting off on a clean note throughout the entire week, it allows me to kind of keep it that way. So it just kind of motivates me to keep my room clean but if there are clothes on the floor, if there is laundry that needs to be done um, and you can stretch it out to the weekend, I just make sure like Sunday I get it done and then I'm good and I don't have to think about it again until Sunday. So that is just a little tip from me to you if anyone wanted it on how I kind of stay like a little bit more um, motivated to get stuff done just by not stressing myself out with it you know, making it be something I need to do every day because one day a week is honestly easy enough and I can spare that. So that's just a little tip from me to you. Holy, holy, I just ate so much dinner. My dad made biscuits and bacon and eggs and ooh, they were so good. I have not had like an actual biscuit in so long. 
so I like refused to waste any of it and I shouldn't have done that but it's fine I am about to go grocery shopping now but like oh I feel like I'm in a food coma because I just ate so much and I just want to lay here and I'm also breaking out which is so annoying but we still love her we still love our skin okay but I'm gonna be responsible and get up and just go get groceries show you guys what I'm gonna prepare myself for lunches and then have myself a night I think I'm gonna watch a movie tonight honestly I'm so hype I rarely ever watch movies anymore and that's what I'm trying to do so I'm gonna do it love you guys a lot I'm gonna go get groceries <laughs> okay but this is seriously what I'm going grocery shopping in because that's where I'm at that's where I'm at in life I just don't care and it's bad because I actually think this is cute like house slippers some sweats and just a big tee this is my kind of vibe. This is all I want in life. Okay, you guys, so really quickly before I end the vlog, I'm going, I need this camera to focus first. I'm going to show you guys, hold on, what I'm going to prepare myself for lunch this week, just so I'm on a good start and can eat healthy and not eat out for lunch because that's something I struggle with. So what I like to do is, I'm not gonna make them right now because if I like, I'm gonna make them, but not for the camera, if that makes sense. So, I like to use these 50 calorie tortilla wraps. They're by the brand Extreme Wellness High Fiber. You can find them at Kroger. So I put that with a, here we go, black bean burger by Morningstar. This is only 170 calories. Okay, I'm struggling. Anyways, um, and then I just add that with guacamole and salsa, and it's literally so good. I've had this for like going on three weeks in a row because it's that addicting, and it fills me up very easily so I don't have to really add anything else to it to my lunch, and it's just super quick and easy to make, and also it's low calorie. Now, I personally do not count my calories, but if you guys do, this is like, around a 350 calorie lunch, which is like a super good amount of calories. But I'm going to end the vlog here. I just bought myself some candy and I'm gonna watch a movie, but I hope you guys have the best week. Be sure to talk positively to yourself and I'll see you guys next time, bye.